Hi everyone. Welcome replay viewers. Stick around. I'm Reverend Lunch Lady and today we're going to do some question and answer discussion but also I have some topics I want to share. I got a couple great questions emailed to me so I will um, focus on those but if you're showing up live then you can post your question. So I want to be able to offer just times where we can come together like this in online and either do a meditation or practice. If you were with me last week, we did a special healing meditation. And then I also like to have times where we can just share teachings and um, tools and and helped I want to be able to help you have a better experience of dating so we'll talk about all of these things I'm just going to give it a minute for people to join and check in to share it because it takes a little while for it to all kind of come together but if you're joining the replay go ahead and just um, share that you're here for the replay and I'm going to go ahead and share this to my other group and tell me where you're from and if you have a question because if you have a question that we um, you post on the replay then we can use that for the following week and that would be amazing. So who's joining? Love and Lattes Live. Q and A. You've got the Q's, I've got the A's. Um, <laughs> okay, so sharing that. Yay, who's here? And then I'll share some of the questions because one of the things that I um, noticed recently is a lot of that kind of feeling like, oh, things aren't working for me. You know, there must be something wrong with me. Um, you know, dating sucks, it doesn't work. Um, like all of these kinds of things that can really make us feel quit. Uh-oh, hopefully I didn't lose connection. Um, so that's one thing I want to address today. The other thing about uh, first date stuff. Um, oh, aloha, Amber. Another person, well, another person um, was talking about, you know, opening her heart to love again. And I actually posted a poll about that. Like, um, how safe does it feel to... Um, open your heart right now and there's a lot of people who shared that they were kind of a little bit of both okay my video looks really smudgy I'm gonna try to clean up um anyway so I don't know if that worked probably not um anyway so we'll talk about that too so to start um let's talk about this idea that um, what I call what's wrong is right. And so if you felt like um, things aren't working out for you, well, the question here would be to ask, well, what is right about this for you? So for example, you know, sometimes when we are experiencing a lot of space or we're not meeting people or we try to put ourselves out there and things don't seem like they're working then there's some other thing available for us and what's it like to actually acknowledge that time and and acknowledge whatever is coming up for us in that time because I believe that you know, we have these experiences in our life that actually allow our bodies and our beings to release or 
or be present with emotions and feelings that actually really have been wanting our attention for a long time. So if you're feeling a lot of frustration around um, relationship, then what's important about acknowledging that frustration? And when we can give attention to it and acknowledge it, then that's when things can start changing. So, and that can be with anything in your life. So whether it's with your career or with your current relationship or with dating, like what is it that's actually present there that instead of making it wrong and say, oh, I shouldn't be feeling this way or this shouldn't be happening, that we can say, oh, hello. What is it that you're here to provide for me? Because when we're in the flow of recognizing that we are supported and that um, that we can, with our awareness of things, that we can actually continuously move forward and expand and grow without making things wrong, then how freeing is that? So, you know, what is possible here? What's available here? What um, can we actually receive from this that maybe we're not willing to receive? Because as soon as we say, oh, it's not working, we're doing it wrong, it sucks and nothing's working out, then it's like we've totally stopped the process of being able to receive something else. So, so that's basically my message for today is what's wrong is right <laughs> and what, um, what actually is right about the situation that I'm not willing to acknowledge right now in anything that's, that's going on. Because it becomes sort of a mirror for how we see ourselves in, in dating. It's like, oh, well, there must be something wrong with me that it's not happening or, or, you know, the people I like aren't liking me back and we make that wrong and it just becomes a habit of thinking things are wrong. So, on that, let's go to our first question, which is, I wrote it down because it was emailed to me. And Amber says, thanks for the somersault of thought. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. So she asks, how much should I share on a first date? So have you ever felt like, and, and she was um, sharing with me a little bit more about it because it's like, okay, when you're on a first date and you wanna be honest and you wanna be open and you want to be able to be yourself, then does that basically equate to sharing everything? And so, because many of you who know me know that I'm a no rules dating strategist, that um, what I wanna say is it really does depend on the situation. In general, I would say there probably isn't necessarily a need to share everything on one date. <laughs> and because it is a process of just getting to know another person and having fun because the date's supposed to be fun. So if you feel like you have to start from birth up till the present moment and explain everything that's ever happened to somehow assure that you're not going to make a mistake in this relationship, then you're wrong because it doesn't require that. Like that's part of like what I think we start feeding our mind that, okay, I'm going to do everything I can to not screw this up. And the truth is with the right person, you can't screw it up. But I would also say that it's all about 
the energy and the space and what is present in that moment with that person. So if you are willing to be aware enough to be aware of what's willing, what's um, being received and what's present in the space, then you will actually know. So I want you to know that you know more than you're probably acknowledging about how to date. So it's you plus the other person plus sort of that, that creates sort of a recipe and that recipe is that third entity which is the date. And when you're, you're aware of that, then you will have a sense of what can, what wants to happen there. And sometimes there are intimate things that are shared and other times you'll have a sense that it's not the time for that. And that's just really about being aware and being authentic to the moment. And that is really so different in, in all the different situations. So, um, so there's no preset formula for that. And um, so I love that question because the question already has sort of a, a awareness of, okay, well maybe, maybe, you know, how much should I share on a first date? Well, there's already kind of a sense that, you know, maybe I don't need to share everything about my life. Um, and, you know, what is unfolding between you two. There's gonna be different levels of intimacy available depending on who you're sitting with and the level of kind of trust and safety that's already been created up to that point. And really my advice is, you know, how can you have just so much fun on, on your dates that it's not about thinking that you there's a right or wrong way to do it and it's about bringing yourself to the date yourself which includes your awareness which includes your knowingness which includes your ability to sense what the other person can or can't receive just through your energy. And you can always, um, you can always check in with yourself and pause like, okay, well, you know, what am I sensing about this? And that's going to be really powerful. It's a totally different way. So speaking of because I really am excited about sharing more about a new way of dating that really is how we can be more empowered because so many of us feel like we're doing it wrong or we feel like we're, we're too picky or too weird or too something else um, or not enough this or not enough that. Like all of this stuff becomes such a... A barrier to being able to actually have a lot of fun on a date because dating's meant to be fun. It's meeting new people, it's doing fun things, and just getting to know someone to see like, is this someone I want to see again? And so, if you feel like you are kind of sick of what's been happening for you in your dating life or you're just not sure of what to do, then I really encourage you to join me for this conversation on October 8th. It's in the evening, 6 p.m. Mountain time. And we're going to, I'm going to give you kind of a whole list of these um, questions and 
tools to help you to just really bring more of yourself to your dating life and release the patterns and the, the known and unknown patterns that make dating kind of miserable and frustrating. And a lot of the, I mean, this is really all about having a deeper understanding of you. And, you know, any other love or dating coach is, is going to give you kind of a standard list of things you need to do. And this is quite different than that. This is really kind of the, uh, I would say it's a spiritual, playful path to love. And so I'm really excited about this. So I called it the Weirdo's Guide to Dating because I feel like most people feel like, oh, well, you know, what I want is, is too much or wow, I'm too picky or, oh, you know, there's probably not this so-called combination of person that I'm feeling in my heart and where the heck are they anyway and you know, why isn't this working for me? All of that kind of stuff is why you would want to come to this class. <laughs> so it's really going to be time for you to receive and it, it will be all of us together. We can, we can really interact in the class. It'll be, I'm really excited to offer something different because I know that not everyone is ready to sign up for you know an extended period of time of coaching although i highly recommend it um but this gives us a chance to really change our like like what amber said it's a somersault of thought it's really the somersault of dating so that you can have something different because you deserve something greater we can't date like our grandparents we can't date like our moms did it's just not the same and um, yay, yeah, it's gonna be so fun. It's going to be, um, you know, here's the thing, like I am constantly learning new things and I am constantly evolving my own personal practice and I'm constantly evolving in my relationship with my beloved Laser Beam Larry. And we are learning all the time and it's not just me, it's the, the world is changing like that. You know, we're in the Aquarian age where it is about, I know the unknown is known to me. Just one of the quotes from Yogi Bhajan that I really love, I know the unknown is known to me. So when you take that kind of um, reference point to dating, then what else is possible? Like we're, we're, trained we've been trained to dismiss so much of our own wisdom and and you know we have all of these ways that we make ourselves wrong and we have all of these fears that we're carrying along that most of them aren't even ours so let's let's connect and really create something different so you can have something different personally that's what completely changed my dating life, which completely changed my relationship space and was allowed me to receive something greater than I could ever imagine. And I want that for you. So, you know, my mission is to help people have that kind of love that they never thought could exist, which is how what I, coined unicorn love and it does exist it's just that we haven't been able to receive that much like we haven't allowed ourselves to receive that kind of love and relationship so this is super powerful and I will put the um, information for The Weirdo's Guide to Dating, Dating Unicorn Style, um, in the comments below. And I invite you to join us. And know that if you join live, you're going to be able to 
probably receive some coaching, ask questions, and um, it's gonna be amazing. So, um, truly, I just love bringing ways for you all to experience more flow, more ease, more joy, more playfulness, more amusement in your life in general, but certainly when you can have that in dating, then that's what you can actually create in your relationship space. Because most people are kind of sludging along, trying to make it work, just forcing themselves to, you know, show up and, and, and look shiny and it doesn't work. You know, it's just, it's efforting to relationships that then require even more effort. And I'm not saying that relationship doesn't invite opportunities for evolution, <laughs> which, you know, I'm grateful for that because I've had plenty of moments with Larry on how to kind of get to know each other in a deeper way. Even after eight years, we've, we continuously, every day, we are recreating this relationship so that it can be absolutely supportive for both of us in, and that's through our willingness and our awareness to do that. So join me October 8th and then join me every Monday at noon, unless I can't do noon, I'll, I'll find another time, for these, these little sessions, love and lattes sometimes, and then meditation Mondays the other times. So it's, we're gonna do it sort of every other week so that we can um, just continuously bring more love into the world. So thanks for being here. I hope this was helpful. Comment below as to what you're taking from this and I will share with you the information and we will see you really soon. Bye, have a great week.